Hey there, I'm Bogdan Budaka and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another mind workout. I do hope that you're enjoying the summer and that you also keep safe and you keep learning. So today I thought that we could get a bit of an introduction on a pretty important component of today's software development world and that being DevOps. And that is something that facilitates the software development process. And of course you can read a bunch about that online, uh, but I do have some notes to get us started here. So we're going to be talking DevOps, we're going to be talking uh, in particular CI, CD, which stand for continuous integration and continuous uh, delivery or deployment. And then down to CD pipelines. So we'll see in a minute what that is. Uh, so just for, just for a few notes to get us started, I, I figured we start from ALM or Application Lifecycle Management. And this is basically kind of a discipline that uh, is concerned with, as the title says, Application Lifecycle Management. And does have a, a few steps or a few components uh, out of which two are Continuous Integration or CI for short. Basically that means version control, stuff like uh, GitLab, um, GitHub, Bitbucket, whatever it is that you might be using. Basically, this is a central loca location in the in the cloud where you would store your code, where you would store your work for everybody to review. So the whole development team, and then we have release management so, or the CD part. And here we have continuous delivery or deployment. Basically, they're pretty similar. They're uh, they're building uh, software in short cycles, then processing the code. Uh, one small difference in the terminology or the definitions that I found is that delivery, for example, is more uh, is more manually deployed and the deployment is uh, more automated. So we're going to be talking about the latter. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty new to the software development world as well. But uh, from what I understand in the past and for a bit of context, uh, deploying software was a tedious and uh, difficult task and it was pretty hands-on. And uh, in time and as the cloud also also uh, 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 increased in, in, uh, in usage, uh, the stuff got automated, okay? So then coming down to CD pipelines, uh, what, what's a pipeline? Basically an automated chain of processing elements. So that means that the output of one element is the input of the next. And basically what we do in the pipeline is run the tests uh, on the code, build the code and deploy the code or whatever else you need to but whatever else operation you need to perform on the code. So, okay, just to get a better idea, I'm going to try to do a small diagram here. So this is you, this is the developer, and this would be version control. An arrow as well. That here. So this would be version control. For example, git. And this will trigger the pipeline, and we will we will see in a minute what that is. That means okay. So here we will compile, test, build, etc. We will need for this a Docker container. Or cube, Kubernetes, pod, etc. So, went out of bounds a bit. Okay, and then just one more step. So this, I am talking more more about uh, web applications here. Not sure if this applies for any other discipline, any any other branch of uh, software development, but this should be valid for web uh, web applications. And deploy the code. Okay, so these are the three steps. So let's try to go through this. So if you're the developer here, you're working on your machine, on your laptop, on your PC, you're coding away, and then when you have stuff done, you're just gonna push it to version control, to Git, for example. And there's a bunch of uh, pipeline software out there. You you might be using Jenkins or the GitLab CI/CD or whatever else, and you'll just have that configured in your in your development uh, development environment, and it'll monitor it will watch your repo so a path in your repo a branch for example you might be working on the on a development branch but let's and that has a pipeline as well but let's just say that you're pushing directly to the main branch so your pipeline software will be configured to watch that branch and whenever there's call uh, called pushed there it'll be it'll get triggered so it'll basically take the code from here the code artifact i've seen this terminology 
Anyway, it will, it will take the code, and then uh, you'll have uh, you'll have uh, some configuration that will say, okay, so I need an environment to process that code. So it depends. You might have a Docker environment or a Kubernetes environment or whatever it is. So you just basically need like a virtual machine or a, or a container, and you will say, okay, so I need an operating system. For example, a Linux. I will need if it's an Angular application, you will need npm or uh, and the Angular CLI. If it's Java, you'll need the JDK, JVM, so on. So you will have that configured. You will provision that uh, programmatically, and there you will compile your code. You will test, run the test. You will build it and so on. And if everything goes smooth and there are no issues to to break the pipeline, then you will send uh, send that code to here, well, basically you will be deploying it. Let's say it's a, it's a storage uh, that's being served by your web server or whatever else kind of uh, kind of setup you have in your cloud or whatever it is that just uh, send your code online. Okay. So this uh, this should be. I hope this is not too confusing and I hope I didn't miss anything. So this is just something that now is being done automated in the cloud. So it's pretty smooth. And uh, if you wouldn't be doing this, maybe just to just to pretend that we're in the past and to get get an idea of what this actually solves. Uh, let's say that we would have some uh, some scripts on our machine, so we can have a small simulation here. I do have an Angular application, just your standard uh, initial application. I do serve it over here, and go here. In just so the code is here for the angular application we will just build this code um it'll it'll they'll create a dist folder if you're not familiar with angular applications and the compiled code uh, will be there and that is the code that we'll actually use and basically what we will do we will just once we build uh, the application we'll just take that code and copy it here to this empty folder and we can just pretend that's our storage that that's being served okay so I'm just going to create a couple of bash scripts, something very small, just a few commands. If you're not too familiar with bash scripts, they're pretty straightforward, they're super powerful. If you know a bit of Linux, you should be good to go. Build.sh, and let's say deploy.sh. So, for a bit of context, for example, I serve my. Uh, uh, I'm just going to write these down and then we can have a discussion. So we do need the shebang here and the slash. And here, what we will do, we'll just have a few commands cd. So we will go into pipeline demo, pipeline demo. Then we'll run ng build. Probably we need to run, for example, npm install because here at this step we get the, all the dependencies with the other code that we need uh, for, for our code. And so on. So here, but we don't need that because this is just a fresh application. So I'm just going to run ng build, and then we will come back to the current folder, and we will run the next script. So you can already see a kind of chain being built here. So we run the next script over. We pass things to the next script. So in deploy sh, that's going to this. So what what we will do here? We'll just copy so current folder, and then pipeline demo we'll have the dist folder that will be created from the previous script and there will actually be another folder and inside there will be the compile code pipeline demo slash everything to actually i'm going to copy demo storage slash okay so we're just going to take the compile code and copy it to this folder here for example, I use I host uh, uh, my website on uh, on uh, AWS. So uh, AWS is very powerful. I do recommend that uh, you you can play with it at least. You can create the code. They do have a free uh, free tier, and you can play with a bunch of stuff there, a bunch of services. And uh, I do I do host my website on AWS, and it's basically being served from an S3 S3 storage bucket. So. Um, for example, here we could have just had like if I wanted to if I wanted to do this on my machine, I could just do AWS S3 copy copy folder something and then 
I don't know bucket here. I don't. I, you can look. You can look up the syntax. So we'll just copy this here. I'm just gonna comment this out. So instead of instead of uh, using this command, I would just use this command and use the AWS CLI and copy this to my S3 bucket from which I'm I'm serving my code to the web. Okay. But here we're just gonna do things locally. So we have our scripts ready. Yeah, they're saved. We see them here. I will go ahead and make them executable. So anything with the sh extension. So now, yeah, they're good. So I'm just gonna run build. See if this works. Probably gonna take a little while. So it just starts running our commands. It goes into the folder and it runs ng build. So yeah, we can see our application being built right now. Okay, so I hope I think this will this will help you get a better idea of uh, of how this would work. Just a few more seconds. Okay, so it should be done. There was no error. So now, if we look here, we will see the dist folder, the pipeline demo folder. This is the compiled code, and hopefully in here, yeah, we have that output here. Okay. So basically, you 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 can see how this how this uh, would work like a very small very small demonstration of how this would work. Nothing here. Okay, so basically, I just wanted to show you. So I told you that uh, that AWS is very useful. So you can you can use this cloud uh, provider and have a free tier account there and so on and play around. So you can try to set up a pipeline here. Uh, the the documentation is uh, pretty decent. And you can try to set up a pipeline here. I do have a pipeline for my for uh, my website. So just to show you a bit around. So this is the code pipeline. You'll see a bunch of services over here. Code commit, code artifact, code build, code deploy, code pipeline. Anyway, this is AWS. Uh, this is AWS's stuff. So you can see the three steps here. So the source. Uh, so here you can just see GitHub. So this is where I push my code. And from there, AWS gets the code and the, it uses AWS code build. And then after that step is done, it's being deployed. It's sent to my S3 bucket from where I'm serving it. So it's exactly as we've seen here, just, uh, just this example here. And a bit more in depth. So for the, for the build, this is what it does. So it takes the code and then it does npm install. It's a, it's a Linux, uh, I had something more detailed opened. Basically, I can tell that it's a Linux environment and it does have uh, it does have npm and Angular CLI, of course. And here, what it does is basically just run. Uh, so this is node 10 npm install, and then ng build, and then you can see here the dist folder. Okay, so it does basically the same thing. So this is just to get an idea. You can use the AWS pipeline, for example, and automate this for yourself with the, with the cloud provider. Just serve your website through a pipeline. Uh, that's what I do. So if I have a change to make, I just push it into push it into the into the version control into Git, and the AWS pipe the AWS pipeline has a webhook there. It gets triggered, takes the code from GitHub, it builds it, and then it deploys it. sends it to it sends it to my AWS S3 bucket. I could have done this locally as well with the scripts and then just copying it using just the AWS CLI commands and copy it and copying it to my S3 bucket and so on. But you know, it's better in the cloud. Uh, so yeah, I think this was, uh, this was the introduction I had. So I hope this was uh, pretty interesting and pretty fun. And uh, if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to your comments uh, below. So yeah, I'll see you around.